Exercise 7.1 asks us to write the Lagrangian for projectile in terms of its Cartesian coordinates. We know there is no air resistance, so it's going to be pretty easy for us. So first of all, the Lagrangians, Lagrangian is going to be T minus U, in which T is the kinetic energy and U is the potential energy. So T is going to be equal to 1 half mv squared, like we all know, that is going to be equal to 1 half m and all its com all their components squared, and then add it together. So x squared dot, because remember, the velocity in the x direction is equal to the x dot, so velocity x squared is equal to x dot squared, and so then we'll have y dot squared plus z dot squared, and then u instead is going to be equal to 1 half, uh, sorry, it's going to be equal to mgh. In our case, the projectile is thrown up. That means that it's going to be thrown along the z axis, so mgz. So we can rewrite it as we said right here. So T, which is equals to this part over here, or this part over here, minus MGZ is equal to the Lagrangian. Now, let's solve this, and uh, let's find the three Lagrangian equations. So for the x-axis, we're going to have Lagrangian on the x-axis is equal to 1 half M x dot squared for the y axis we're gonna have Lagrangian on the y which is one half m y dot squared and then for z we're gonna have Lagrangian equals to one half m z dot squared minus m g z ah okay so what are we gonna do now well we're gonna put it in the Lagrange's equation, therefore we're going to have that Lagrange's equation is always going to be equal to L, partial derivative of L, in terms of uh, our Q of I is equal to the dt of partial derivative of L in terms of Q I dot. So when we have our x, is going to be equal to the partial derivative of L in terms of or partial derivative of, of, sorry, of x is equal to d over dt of dl over dx dot. So if we take the first part, we're going to have to take, of course, I'm sorry, the x function, of course. We're going to take this part over here and find its partial derivative in terms of x. And as you can see, there is no x here, so it's going to be equal to 0. Then equals to the derivative in terms of time of the d l of x, what we just said is equal to this part here, over dx dot. In this case, we have an x dot, so we're going to have d over dt of 1 half m and that is 2x dot. So we're going to cancel the 2 over here. And we're going to get that 0 is equal to d over dt of mx dot. Which is then going to be equal to mx dot, double dot, is equal to 0. How about the y? Well, for the y, it's going to be a very similar process. So let's take the our equation over here, and let's rewrite it the same thing, just in terms of y this time. So let me just cancel this little addition. Okay, so y and y. So the Lagrangian in the y direction, as you just said, is equal to this part over here. Copy and paste over here. D over the y, of course, sorry, let me this. 
equals to d over d t partial of the, our equation on the y direction for d y dot. So on this left side we're gonna have zero again, on the right side we're gonna have d over d t of m y dot. So it's gonna be equals to m y double dot is equals to zero. And then for z instead it's gonna be a slightly different. So for z we're gonna have our Lagrangian equation. So this part over here again just instead of in terms of y in terms of z. So if I write it in terms of z, oops, not this one. Okay, our Lagrangian of z was equals to one half mx dot minus mmg at z. So copy it and paste it over here. Partial derivative in terms of z is equals to d over dt of always our Lagrangian in terms of z partial over dz dot. So the first one we're gonna get obviously uh, minus m g equals to d over dt of m z dot, which is gonna be equals to negative m g is equals to m z double dot. And as you can see, of course, with one of the m because it's on both sides, negative g is equals to z. Indeed, the acceleration on the x-axis is going to be downwards for a value equals to g, given by the uh, gravitational acceleration of Earth. Or if we were, for example, on Mars, because it works on Mars too, or any other planet, the gravitational acceleration of that planet.